Welcome again. In this lecture, we'll do a project that make use of the bitwise operations that we have seen in the in the last uh, lecture. So let's start by creating a Python file. I will call it blending images dot pi. I will import cv2 and numpy. First, I will uh, load these two images, the Apple image and the logo image here. You can find the images in the link below. So, Apple image, just call it Apple, cb2.imread from data, Apple, jpeg, and the logo is cb2.imread data and logo.png let me show them let me show apple image I'll make this logo so apple and cv2.im show logo like that and here logo cv2.reads key 0 if I run the code here python blending images so now we can see the logo here it's very small image and the apple here what we want now is to put this uh, this logo here for example in the image here uh, without having this background this uh, black background here we want just to put the this logo here and make it like watermark the image with this logo to do that we first need to have the shape of this logo so the first as rows columns and the channels of this logo dot shape and make a region of interest from the apple image here so apple from 0 to the number of rows of this logo and 0 from till the number of columns of this logo so let me show it here if I make cv2.in show ROI give it ROI and show it here so it now shown here the ROI is shown here so this is this part of the image from here it is clear that the, the second image must be smaller than the uh, the other one now we need to create a mask from the logo image so create a mask from logo and also the inverse of this mask the inverse mask first we need to convert the logo to gray scale image to create a mask logo gray cv2 dot convert color of that logo things cv2 dot color from bgr to gray and to create a mask we can use the function threshold from cv2 so this will return a mask and another uh, parameter we can we don't we won't use it so we can put it like this and cv2 dot threshold the image will see later the function threshold and other functions so it will take this logo gray and values between 0 and 255 and the type of thresholding so I will give it threshold binary to take the inverse mask so let me first show this mask here we'll call it mask let's show it like that and we can see the mask here so it's just a binary image with black and white color 
and we can create the inverse mask by saying cv2 dot b twice not and giving it this mask so now if i show the inverse mask here inverse mask give the inverse mask image to compare them I have now the logo this is the inverse mask and this is the mask here so inverse mask is just make the black here white and the white here black and we will see why this is important so now we will block out the area of block out the area of area of mask in the ROI this will be done by saying image one background should take cv2 dot b twice this time b twice and between the ROI and ROI and taking the mask as the mask we have created here or the inverse mask we have created here you can see this you can show it here if you want cv2 dot image show and saying image one background and give it this image one background show it here is from here so this is from the ROI we have we uh, blocked out the just the area of the logo because we are interested just in this three arcs here so from the logo now we will just take these three arcs by using taking just the logo arcs so we'll do that by saying uh, logo foreground cb2 dot b twice and also but this time between the logo itself and the logo and giving the mask as the mask we have created here you can see it also show it here saying cv2 dot im show this time is logo foreground and logo foreground and show it here and we can see it here so now we'll use this two one to create or to blend the two images here so we will add these two images we'll saying the result is equals to cv2 dot add the image one background and the logo foreground and changing the apple image by saying apple from zero till rows and zero till columns and give it give it this result image and it will be shown here so let me comment all these ones all these mask and so we have seen them can also comment this and now if we show the apple it will be shown with this logo on it so now you can see that the logo is blended here you can put it in any position on this image for example you can put it here or here or here or any position on the image this is how we can use the these operations this bitwise operation to uh, watermark an image with a logo or something like that or to uh, blend two images so if you want for example to put it in here we can change the slicing here in the image by saying from rows till the end and from minus column till the end if i show it here it will be shown here but we need also to change the foreground here or the background here by changing the ROI also from minus ROI 
rows till the end and for minus column till the end so now it is changed and it is well uh, blended here 